The centerpiece of Nova Minerals' diversified portfolio is the exciting 2.5 million ounce Estel Gold project. Located 185 kilometers northwest of Anchorage in the famous Tintina Gold Belt of Alaska and Canada's Yukon region. This belt extends over 1,500 kilometers and is one of the world's most important gold structures, producing more than 30 million ounces to date, with tens of millions more discovered in the last 30 years. Major mines and deposits on the Canadian side include Victoria Gold's new Eagle Mine, with 4.8 million ounces, 1.5 million ounces at Golden Predator's nearby Brewery Creek Mine, the Casino Deposit, operated by Western Copper and Gold with 17.9 million ounces and the nearby coffee project of Newmont Gold Corp holding 4.9 million ounces. To the west, the Alaskan side boasts 9.9 .9 million ounces at Australian company Northern Stars recently purchased Pogo Underground Mine. Kinross's Fort Knox Mine with 12.6 million ounces Another 12.6 million ounces at Tower Hill's Live and Good deposit. Nova Gold and Barrick's impressive 39 million ounce Donlan Gold project. An astounding 107 million ounces at Northern Dynasty's Pebble, the largest gold deposit in the world. And 9.5 million gold equivalent ounces at Gold Mining Inc.'s Whistler deposit, which sits adjacent to Nova's Estelle project. Like most of the Tintina Belt, the local geology is characterized by a thick succession of Cretaceous volcano-sedimentary rocks, intruded by a diverse suite of plutonic rocks. The Mount Estelle Batolith is one of these plutons, and is the key feature in Nova's tenements, which cover 220 square kilometers. Fifteen key targets have been identified in the area. The Estelle project was acquired in December 2017, and has become Nova's key project since then, with Nova seeking to reach 85% equity after expenditure of approximately 4 million Australian dollars. Geologically, the mineralized rocks in the Tintina belt are highly varied, but carry or receive mineralizing fluids that contain primarily gold and copper. One of the most promising targets, named RPM, lies at the southern end of Nova's tenements and contains a drill hole from 2012, which Nova has had re-assayed. The RPM drill hole shows an impressive 102 metres at 1.04 grams per tonne, including 22 metres at 2.07 grams per tonne. Naturally, such a good result warrants further investigation, and Nova's current plans for 2020 include an aggressive drilling and prospecting program in the RPM area. 26 kilometres north, at the other end of the tenements, is the major target currently being investigated, known as Oxide Corbell, with an established 2.5 million ounce Maiden Jork resource. A rock chip sampling survey of the Oxide area noted that almost all of the observed metalliferous zones were confined to joint controlled and stock work veinlets. The best result was 26.9 grams per tonne gold and 11.6 grams per tonne silver, along with copper, arsenic and bismuth, located 900 metres to the northwest of the Oxide South target, outside the current alteration zone perimeter, making the prospect potentially even larger. A 3D-induced polarisation study of resistivity and chargeability set an overall exploration target at the upper end of expectations. Mineralisation appears to extend over a large area with a current strike length of up to 3,000 metres and a width of 550 to 950 metres. The mineralisation is open in all directions and has an extensive zone of hydrothermal alteration, overprinting late Cretaceous intrusive phases of granitic composition. A textbook example of a large-scale near-surface low-strip intrusion-related gold system. Three zones were recognised and divided into resource blocks A and B across a valley fault. In block A, the best intersections included 450 metres at 0.38 grams per tonne.
In Block B, grades of up to 27.6 grams per tonne were intercepted. Key results included 90 metres at 1.14 grams per tonne and 70 metres grading 1.2 grams per tonne with intersections commencing within just 2 metres of the surface and overall average intersections just 10 metres from the surface. Additional nearby targets from the chargeability geophysics, known as Block C and D, will be drilled in the near future. The 2.5 million ounce oxide Corbel resource is classified as a reduced intrusion-related gold deposit type. Such deposits typically occur associated with unoxidized, moderately reduced intrusions in reduced siliciclastic sequences. Key characteristics of these deposits include low sulphite content, associated with mineral and metal assemblages of gold and lesser amounts of silver, bismuth, arsenic, tungsten and molybdenum. The mineralization occurs in multi-phase granitic stocks and plutons. Gold is hosted in sheeted veins of similar age to their causative intrusions. While these deposits don't have a significant hydrothermal alteration footprint, there are often peripheral mineralization occurrences and proximal thermal alteration, which have a predictable distribution pattern, including secondary aluminosilicates, biotite and tourmaline, scans and polymetallic veins. With a maiden chalk resource of 2.5 million ounces for just one of 15 currently known targets within Nova's tenements and sharing strong geological similarities to Kinross's Fort Knox mine and Victoria Gold's new Eagle mine, Nova Minerals is in a great position to capitalise on this underexplored but unexpectedly impressive region of the famous Tintina structural gold belt. Given Nova's close proximity to the 39 million ounce Donlan Gold project, and an astounding 107 million ounces at the Pebble Project. Here's Nova Minerals on the next world-significant gold deposit.